Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this one hour tutorial, we're trying to see how to do automatic test summarization with Python. Specifically, we're trying to use a package called Jensen to you to help us to do our summarization. So yeah, there are three main types of summarization. We have extractive, in which you're going to select a subset of a particular of the whole sentence, right? And to use it as your summary. Next is you're going to check for the word frequency, the important keywords, right? To be able to summarize your test. That is extractive format. Then also have abstractive summarization. In which you are going to paraphrase the entire sentence, right? So it's going to be totally different. It's going to just be an abstract of the entire sentence that you are trying to use or the entire test you are trying to work with. And also have the edit summarization, which is trying to combine both machine and then human to enable us to give good summary. So now let's see how to work with this. So in case you don't have this package, just go with pip install Jensen to install the entire package, full library for Jensen. Or if you case in case you only want to work with the summarization, and just go with Jensen some underscore yes right that is how to work with it and let's see how to work with it so i'm just going to import warnings to allow us to not see all the warnings then just go with from jensen dot summarization import summarize so you import that particular package for summarize perfect now so this is going to be the test we'll be trying to work with so the test is about the definition of what summarization is so let's try it to see so if i go back to here then my my test is going to print it perfectly for us. So automatic summarization is the process of shortening the test with soft software, right? So that is the definition of automatic summarization. Now let's see how to summarize this entire test in a simple way. So first of all, let's check for the length of our test. So there are several ways. You can just go with the normal way of doing it. My test, right? You can just go with the length. It will give us the, the length by character of words, right? So these are the number of character of words. And also do it with the normal way of splitting it. So let's try that one. So it's going to be my test dot split. Then with this format, you can just get all the length of the words there. It's perfect. So this we have about 234 different words. So these are the different methods of trying to find the length of the test. Now let's see how to summarize our test. So it's very simple. Just going to go with summarize. Then you pass in our test. So when you pass in our test, go to summarize it automatically. So this is the summary that's given to us. So it's just able to read the entire stuff and then pick the most important stuff for us. Right? So automatic summarization is the process of shortening the test. So this is an, an extractive format of summarization. Now we can store this one inside a variable. Let's call it as a summary test TST. Then let's store it there. Right? We want to get the length of this particular summarized test to see the difference between the one above and the one below. So if I go with the normal length of the different words there summary right and then it's going to give us 410 out of this uh, 1574 right so this is 410 now if i go the same format that i had which was my length my summary test you're going to see that this is quite to use right i61 instead of the previous one which was 234 now that's become only 61 words very interesting so jensen gives you the option of doing some other thing while summarizing right so let's see so it gives you want to get the result as a list of strings instead of just a normal string and just use a split to split let's see how it's going to be it's going to be our summary so let me copy this one at the top same time then here i'm just going to supply the split is equal to true. So it's going to give us not as a string but as a list. If you see that that's giving it to us as a, a list. Very interesting. So that's one of the ways of working it. So in case you want to get it as a list of string. And you in case you want to set the amount of tests you want as a summary, you can also use two methods. You have the ratio and the default is 18%, but you can just use the word count. So let's see how to get the data for 15%. So it's going to be the same thing we have. Right? And then I'll just su supply the particular ratio for ratio. It's going to 0.5. So if I go with this, it's going to be more than the previous one. Now that this one is longer, right? We have a longer test than the previous one, which is 44. Right. So this gives us at 50%. Right. It's giving us two different sentences. Again, in case I want it at 20, I can also do the same thing. So let's try that one. Ratio. Let's go to 0.2. And if I do 0 0.2, it's going to be just like the same one, just like the previous one. So the default is 20. Right, twenty percent. Very interesting. And let's see how to get the maximum amount of words in the summary. So this same thing was giving us a, the amount, maximum amount of words we want. 
50% using the ratio, right? But in case you also want to get based on a word count, you can just use this particular format. So just go with the same thing, and then instead of supplying it as ratio, you can just go with word and let's go count. Then you set a particular word count. So let's say you want 50. If I want 50, you want to list as 50. So the words here is actually 61 words, right? So I can actually count it and you can keep us the same thing. So let's try that one. Let's see. Using the same stuff we have. So this is a test. If I go with split, then let's pass in our length. So it is the is trying to let that keep us at most or about about 50, right? So that is the basic idea. But I count it 61. Very interesting. So that is how to work with it. So this was supposed to be at the top anyway. Okay. Perfect. So now let's see some other stuff you can also do. So in case you want to find the position of the structured test, right? Somebody was asking about how to find the position of the structured test. So there are several ways of doing it. So we have this test here. In case I want to find the position of this structured test, you can also be able to do it. So let's try it with a different test together. So I'm going to read a different test. So let's call it as find docs. Then open dot read. Open, I said open dot read. <laughs> open. <laughs> then the test is example test. Right, you have an example test dot read. So we are reading this out of product document. Then if I check it as docs. So this is a test about the activity of class, some lengthy test, right? Perfect. So in case I want to summarize this particular test, I can do that in the same way. So let's see how to do that. So it's going to be the same thing. So summarize, then I'll pass in my dots. So this is reading from a file. It's going to summarize it perfectly for us. So this is 20%, right? So it's just able to extract the most important stuff from this one, which is at this particular point. We said this place, right? So that's why it's a good extract for us. So based on that, is you see that it's the same thing. Now this and this. So to get to be able to get the location, the best way is to reduce it to ten percent. If you do it twenty percent, you may have two sentences and it may be difficult. So the best way to get the location is to reduce the output to ten percent, right? So let's see how to do that. So it's going to be sort of my summary. Then I'll summarize it as dots right then i'm going to reduce the ratio for the output to 0 0.1 so if i go with 0 0.1 now it's going to be very small so let's see that one so my summary that now it is very few right it's just a sentence instead of the entire stuff above so with this particular stuff i can check for the location so let's check and see if this particular stuff is inside, inside our entire list so how do we do that so let's check and see if it's inside our list so it's going to be my summary let's go up a little in our docs so we have our docs here so true right that means that this particular test is found here perfect so since it is found there we can be able to look look at it so now let's see the two different methods we can use so we're going to use the first method using the find because this is like a string you can use the find method right so it's going to be our docs dot find then my summary if i do that it's going to give me the location so this is actual location for that particular test right so i can actually set for it from here so dots as the first method then i'll supply this particular value one says three one right dots if i go it is going to start counting from that particular location so this is the location is that you need to get a particular test so it's, it's good with this particular method it's going to give you everything up to even to the end of it so right so that is how to find the actual location it's using a method to find now let's see the next method using index right so the next method is going to be using index so you can just go the same thing so docs dot index and i'll supply my test to my summary right so i do that it's also going to give me the same method and then you can just use the same stuff you did so docs then i'll supply the value one says three one right so it's going to give me till the end so that is how to get the location of the structure test very interesting now let's see another method you can also use this is the third method the third method is that you're going to split the entire sentences right you're going to split the entire corpus into sentences then you find the location of that particular stuff so we're using summarizer summarization dot test cleaner and we're going to import split sentences so let's create the entire sentence that we have so we realize that our sentence was this right so to split it is going to be split sentences then it's going to split the, the sentence for us so so that we're going to split the entire 
corpus into individual sentences and then we can be able to check for the location of it so let's store this particular stuff into a list so let's call it as so let's call it as all sentences inside a list right you are storing it inside a list so perfect so now it's, it's a list format so saying this is a list now we can be able to check it if our summary that we have which is this is inside our old sentences it is inside there so now how do you locate it from this particular split sentence so we can do that using the same simple method of the index this is a list so you can't do find you can only do index right so you can just do it a uh, all sentence dot index then you just apply a minus term so this is going to give me the location of it so this is more accurate than the previous one so this one is interesting it's good that's going to give you the location by words but this one is also going to give you the actual sentence location because you have plated it into sentences now let's see the actual location to get the actual location it's going to be for all sentences then it because that was the value right it, and then we're going to print the first one so thank you for watching this long tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put that in comment below so that everybody can benefit so the basic idea is that to get the actual sentence the location of the sentence you can use 3d parameters right you can find it as a list by right? using the find or the index method right and then you locate it or you can split the entire sentences with a split sentence into a list then you locate it using the index so thank you for watching and then please don't forget to subscribe stay